Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 7th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past two days, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, and mixed here with Daily Events Worldwide, Earth-facing sunspots, plasma filaments, but no major solar flares coming our way or Earth-directed coronal mass ejections. Looking at the last 48 hours, cresting into view. Not much activity except for the plasma filament on the left-hand side, swirling and twirling from the surface. Looking at outgoing here. Big sunspot regions turning away. Right now, we've got nine Earth-facing sunspots. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. And as well, bottom left-hand side, showing the magnetic field of the coronal hole wind stream, which we were just affected by. Solar winds were steady over 500 kilometers per second, topping out at about 750. There are the culprits right there, Earth-facing coronal hole, stretching across the southern parts of our sun. Looking at 171 angstroms here, just amazing images, plasma loops hopping around our sun. And again, please, if you're enjoying all this information and imagery shared, give a thumbs up, share with your friends and family. Having a look now at the sunspot regions in motion, as we did have that very fast forming sunspot region, earth facing, gravitating towards the sunspot, turning away. Another big sunspot turning in 4056, but we're watching 4054 and 4048 for now, as it is still Earth facing. We have nine sunspots right now to choose from. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Solar winds are coming in steady at 517 kilometers per second right now, and that is still well above average. Solar X ray flux showing minor C-class activity. Other than that, nothing has been reported since two days ago. Solar proton flux slightly elevated yesterday and today. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP4 now after being up to a six and a five a couple days ago. Current space weather prediction center spiral here. Not showing any new CMEs, basically just coronal hole wind stream and minor geomagnetic instability expected. Last go three here, wide spectrum, showing the last seven days of activity on our sun as we did have that big plasma filament swirl around from outgoing position to cresting into view. On the back side, watch for that. Here on the fifth into the sixth, big plasma filament creating coronal mass ejection, not in an Earth-directed fashion. And here's a look at our Aurora forecast for tonight and tomorrow. More prevalent tonight and more so across Canada and Alaska. Now let's get to earthquakes as we are still hopping and well above average. This is a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Largest being 5.8 earthquake here. Sinabung, Indonesia. Active volcanic range. Activity all around the band of sea and as well aftershocks continuing at Papua New Guinea. 4.8 after a 6.9 two days ago. We've seen dozens of aftershocks through the region and it was offshore. So no tsunami. But still, we've got some major earth shaking earthquakes. We've also got deep earthquakes penetrating Lavuka, Fiji. 544 kilometer depth, notable earthquake here in Wara Valley, 4.1 New Zealand. Notable seismicity at Hawaii as well, waiting for an eruption there at the Kilauea volcano yet again. All of a sudden it's gone quiet, Alaska. Across the U.S., 3.7 Washington, 3.5 Nevada being the largest across American soil. 
no earthquake swarms to report. Notable earthquake here, east end of the Cayman Islands. And very quiet South American plate. We haven't seen anything in the last 24 hours. African plate, quiet as well. 4.9 earthquake there, Greece. We also did have a notable earthquake at Zemla, or Svalbard, up towards Svalbard. 5.4 earthquake, this was reported two days ago. Right on the North Pole plate, Zevernaya Zemla. 5.4 earthquake. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers. Around the world, largest being 6.9 Papua New Guinea. As well, we had the 6.9, the Rec Janes Ridge. So sizable earthquakes this week. And as well, warned earthquakes. Here with Daily Events Worldwide. Thank you so much again for watching. Hope you're enjoying the show and all the information shared. If you are, please don't forget to pump up the thumbs. Get in the comment section down below. And feel free to check out the live stream at any time. 24-7 earthquakes. Stay aware and prepared. I'm watching for swarms across California. Now let's get to the air quality forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Notable plumes coming out of Japan with a big eruption at Sakurajima. And sulfur emissions still spewing out of Kilauea. Notable eruption. Indonesia. At the Merapi volcano. And as well, East Caledonia or New Caledonia. Notable plumes coming out of Central Africa. And no new plumes or eruptions towards the Mediterranean. Now having a look at satellite imagery here overlooking North America as we've had quite the extreme weather event that bombarded the U.S. with over 450 tornado warnings and as well dozens of flood flash flood warnings thousands of people have been affected by this major system that came through it's like a hose was turned on from the gulf of mexico and up into the central u.s you can see a tightly whipped storm come out of the texas panhandle and then another low come in out of the pacific northwest and then the huge funnel of moisture Almost a month's worth of rain in two days for parts of central United States. Now let's have a look at world weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. High pressure ridge building in for the next couple days. Still cool temperatures and snow falling across parts of northern Quebec. Watch for an Alberta, Alberta clipper here in the long range. We'll bring snow across the prairies. Other than that, high pressure wood will be dominant till about the 17th or 18th of April before the next system starts to affect the Great Lakes. And then a notable system coming out of the Pacific, moving up into Canadian prairies. Watch for a major snowstorm event in the long-range forecast. That's right, April 20th, 21st, big snowstorm for Canadian prairies. We're looking South America, Africa, and parts of Southeast Asia. Watch for a possible cyclone in the long range heading towards Myanmar. Other than that, big system developing there for parts of northern Argentina, and Bolivia, and daily evaporation rains to start intensifying across central regions of the Congo. Overlooking Australia and the West Pacific. Low pressure system affecting New Zealand for the next couple days. And then watch for a low to develop here. Parts of northern Australia will see waves of moisture from this cyclone as it rakes down the coastline. Parts of northern territory. And then watch it race across the land in the long range forecast. Much love everybody. Hope you are enjoying your day start of the week now the second week of april leave you here looking at the, the east pacific multiple low pressure systems coming in this week but big high pressure ridge scooting everything northward wait for that high pressure ridge to break down in the long range and then we might see some spring but other than that 
Might see some big systems there around Hawaii. Stay tuned to the daily forecast. I also like to share here the upper level winds. This is by nullschool.com. As the polar vortex across the northern hemisphere has broken down, as it should, heading into spring. But something I noted out just a couple videos ago is that these winds, upper level winds, equatorial and north and south, are going in the opposite direction they were last year. Please check out the video that I produced and released for you all. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. We've got some big changes right before our eyes. And I thank you for almost 90,000 followers. Much love to you all. Keep sharing and caring. Here we grow. This is a look at the Southern Hemisphere getting ready for winter 2025. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Thank you.